everyone and welcome to Daily Scuba News. So today's episode is sponsored by our very own Teespring. We have a pretty cool offer for you, so just kind of hang around for that. So a team of scientists from Stanford University and Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California managed to tag a blue whale with an array of sensors using suction cups containing electrodes and other clever science things. Great mark. I have images of a bunch of people in wad li yep. white lab, I don't know what the wab, wab <laughs> light coats, white lab coats, throwing plunges into the sea, trying to hit a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds I'll like something out of like a Looney Tune cartoon or something. That's pretty much how it was. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so scientists want to find out about the biological limits to size. So yeah, a blue whale, the largest animal in history, was the perfect candidate. Uh, these types of studies may have been important, uh, may have important implications, you know, for the conservation and the management of endangered species like the blue whale. Yeah. So the Scripps team were first to identify the heartbeat in the downloaded data. So they had previously uh, sort of measured heart rates of diving emperor penguins in Antarctica. Um, so they thought they might have been able to use a sane technique to find a whale's heartbeat. It wasn't just slapping a, a Fitbit on a penguin. No. Um, so <laughs> I've just got them with a plunger and a penguin. <laughs> 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 Stop ah. this <laughs> Hopefully it was a bit smaller. Um, so anyway, yes, the, <laughs> <laughs> the suction cup worked, um, but they were actually super lucky to actually collect this data. Um, but before we talk about why, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Ooh, spoilers. So throughout December, we are offering you awesome people 15% off all our merch over on our Teesprings page. Our store features scuba diving tees, hoodies, stickers, mugs, and even socks with our faces plastered all over them. You lucky people. So if you're stuck finding the diver in your life, this perfect or a perfect gift for this Christmas, you know, you should totes go check out our Teesprings page. Yeah, so click on the link pinned in the comments, do a bit of shopping, and at checkout, type in promo code Xmas15 to receive 15% off your order. Uh, that's promo code XMAS15. Uh, okay, so why were the scientists so lucky to find a whale's heartbeat? Well, they managed to suction the whale first try, which is Good. That's some dude perfect skill set out there, <laughs> but um, dude perfect because basically because blue whales they don't really hang around. They don't spend that much time on the surface, and they're darn tricksy to kind of predict where they're going to pop up. So when you're in range, you have to make your shot count. So the suction cup scientist placed the sensor, um, but then the sensor started to slip as the kind of whale went under the water, um, and it actually moved down to its kind of left flipper which is actually a better position to find a heartbeat so the team could actually detect the heartbeat is... where it was originally they may not have done on its full red yeah so now that is actually super lucky so the yeah. date uh, the downloaded data surprised the team that basically when the whale dived down its heart rate slowed that's not that surprising um but it actually reached an average of four to eight beats per minute so that's about one heartbeat every 10 seconds <laughs> That's like me. Sounds like mine. <laughs> when it's it gets cold outside. Yeah, it sounds about right. Anyway, <laughs> once the whale began to surface, his heart rate increased between 25 to 27 beats per minute, which was higher than naturally scientists thought it would be. Uh, they believe that the highest rates may depend on the heart's movement and shape that prevented the way of prevent waves of each beat from disrupting blood flow. I did not understand a word of that, but I'm just going to carry on like <laughs> I did. Basically, the way the heart beats, if it does it like too fast the kind of the shape of it means that the blood flow would be turbulent. Oh. So they're like, yeah. oh, didn't think it could go that high. The more you know, <laughs> you've been schooled this morning. <clears throat> anyway, they now plan to add more tags to the whales. <laughs> it's just gonna be a load of suction cups. <laughs> 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 anyway, they're gonna add more tags to the whale to obviously get more readings. Uh, one of them includes an accelerometer. That's right, said it, first try. Uh, to help better understand how different activities affect the heart rate so we can actually understand more about, you know, the, uh, the smooth blue boys. I didn't write that. I did. Ah, yeah. okay. So, what do you think How about... did you know about my weekend nickname, Mark? <laughs> a bit concerned about that. That's my name. Blue Man Group. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> what do you think about this story? Uh, what will the research lead to? Let's have a chat about sort of suction cupping because it's nicer than a half Clean, food. clean, clean, clean comments about suction cupping people. And I whales. don't want there to be some like 
sordid subreddit link to some some odd suction cupping talk. <laughs> Be careful out there, guys. There's a bunch of there's a lot of weirdos out oh, there, including just... one right in front of your screen right now. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, let's have a chat about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're one of these seventy percenters that aren't subscribed to the channel, then of course smash on that subscribe button and ring that tiny little bell next to it. It really does actually help out the channel. Thank yes. you for watching, and of course, safe diving. Yeah. So basically, they met their safety guidelines, but those guidelines were less stringent than the ones on modern boats. So these sub-chapter T federal regulations are said to affect 5,000 passenger vessels wow. of less than 100 tons in the USA. Uh, they basically dictate